Hi there, Trevor. How's it going? Hi, good, Glenn. How are you? I'm here with Trevor from SolarWatch, and uh, he's going to tell us a bit about this amazing battery and, and how it works. It's not like a regular battery at all, is it? No, it's not, Glenn, and it's good to talk about it. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get into it. So we're talking today about the SolarWatt battery. Um, the SolarWatt battery is a little bit different uh, to most residential storage batteries in that it's a DC solution. Uh, so what that means with a DC solution is that the battery actually sits in series in one string between the panels and the inverter. And if we actually have a look at the product itself, we've got the battery management system at the bottom here. That's our command, as we call it. And we've also got the batteries, which are 2.4 modular batteries, and you can stack between one and four five batteries above the command. Each battery is 2.4 kilowatt hours of energy and we discharge at a rate of 800 watts per hour for three hours and you can put up to five batteries uh, above the command. Now some of the benefits that we've got is the uh, inbuilt safety of the units. Uh, we actually have a relay in here where the battery actually will not turn on until it sees the command, uh, the command's power. So if the command loses AC power, the battery turns off and each of the batteries isolate. Uh, each of the batteries also have a current limiting HRC fuse of 20 amps, uh, so anything over 20 amps the battery isolates as well. On top of that we also have 12 temperature sensors in here and if any of the batteries uh, fall out of an agreed temperature range, the battery de-rates until it completely shuts down and it shuts down uh, a long way before any chance of thermal runaway. Uh, and if all of that fails, the battery is actually encased in 14 millimeters of aluminium. And if you go onto YouTube, you can actually see a case of one of our batteries being forced into thermal runaway um, in a lab uh, and it didn't penetrate the case. It did vent gases, uh, but it didn't penetrate the case in a fire case. Cool. Trevor, um just curious, how does it know that you're using energy in your home? How does, okay. it, how does it sort of support the load? So if we have a look over here, we've actually got a thing called a current sensor. Now the current sensor is a, is a bi-directional CT and that basically sits directly after the main switch and before the circuit breakers. And what it does is it actually measures whether you're exporting your solar energy to the grid or whether you're buying energy from the grid. And there is a CAT5E cable between the current sensor and the command and if the current sensor sees you uh, buying energy from the grid, uh, it'll actually tell the command to discharge to support or carry the load. And if it sees you exporting energy to the grid, it'll actually tell the command, if possible, to charge the batteries if there's room in the batteries. Great. So do you have to use any special type of inverter for this to work? Uh, we work with every string inverter on the market, excepting for Solar Edge. Uh, regretfully, with Solar Edge, they actually run a signal over the DC cables. And because we're in series with the uh, DC cables, we block that signal. So it's an ideal retrofit solution for solar Absolutely. Or solar? Absolutely. Or a new build? Absolutely. Wow. An easy design, and it's modular. With the batteries being 2.4 kilowatts per battery, yep. uh, you can go to a customer and you can actually make it suitable to their needs. Cool. Thanks for Thanks, Trevor. Actually, great for your time. Thanks, Glenn.